Proverbs 8 17 to 21. 17 I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. 18 Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. 19 My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than choice silver. 20 I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice. 21 To endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Everyone generally agrees and accepts, God is love, and the Creator loves all His children, but do we love Him in return? Everyone loves ballads, songs that are about love, either a new found love or lost love, songs of hymns are usually someone's testimony, hymns like Amazing Grace, Blessed Assurance, and It Is Well are a few of my favorites but recently I have tea love and cherish, Be Thou Vision, little did I know the hymn dates back the 8th century poem named Slain and is related to the man we celebrate a day called St. Patrick's Day. Mr. St. Patrick was a 5th century man who loves the Lord and had a mission, he wants to teach the people of Ireland Celtic people about Jesus. Easter was coming and even if I call it Resurrection Day, Mr. St. Patrick wanted to honor the day of Jesus rising from the dead. King Logair of Tara made forbidden to light a fire during a pagan holiday, but Patrick went against the king's will and lit a candle on Slain Hill. King Logair was impressed by St. Patrick's desire and show him mercy. Centuries later the poem Slain was written by a monk named Dallin for Gale wrote a poem named Slain was written which later became the hymn Be Thou Vision. Mr. Dallin was going blind and that experience made him desire a closer relationship with God. The words of the poem are asking the Lord to be his vision to be his eyesight so that he can see clearly at day or at night. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Other parts of the song, are saying the same as the words of the book Proverbs says, Please my heavenly Father be my wisdom and let me be your true son, and we can be as one. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word, I ever with thee and thou with me, Lord, thou my great Father, I thy true son, thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. The monk words then say a close relationship with Father God, is more valuable than worldly treasures like silver and gold. My God is King of Heaven, He is my victory, the Lord's heart is my heart, He will always be my vision the ruler of my life. Riches I heed not, nor man's empty praise, Thou mine inheritance, now and always, Thou and Thou only, first in my heart, High King of Heaven, my treasure Thou art. High King of Heaven, my victory won, may I reach Heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Most of us have good eyesight or good fair vision, but like John Newton's words from his poem and song, Amazing Grace God Grace saved a wretch like me, I once was lost but now I see, that grace taught to fear God, oh how precious is that when that grace first appear. Dear brothers and sister if you feel you are distanced from God, if you feel like your vision is a little or a lot cloudy, reach out to the Lord Almighty and ask Him to be your vision, you Lord of you heart. God bless you all the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I. Samuel Head. Numbers 24 For the utterance of him who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down, with eyes wide open.